It's the next knockout round of the UEFA Cup. UEFA Cup? That's old school. Europa League. And we play Schalke. A very, very tough game. Bring it on. First leg at home in Slovenia. Let's get an advantage. Hello and welcome back to another episode of the NK Maribor Save. I am Coach Left Foot and it is a pleasure to have you with me. And as you can see, we are playing Schalke at home in Slovenia. I've literally just mentioned that in the intro, but if you've skipped the intro and you come straight to this, now you know. Uh, a little few things to catch up on in between there and then. So, the schedule. Well, we've been playing quite well apart from the last game. Uh, we last gave for the Zagreb game, we won 3-0. We then played for Sej, 1-4-1. It was pretty easy. Um, Ibrahim, Hasby, Cardos and Muset getting the goals. Uh, then we lost to Olympia Ljubljana, 1-0, in the 91st minute, thanks to a penalty, which is crap, really, going into this game. We don't really want to lose to our main rivals in the league, but what can you do? It's happened. Looking at the competitions, uh, in the league, we are 24 games played, 120, drawn 3, lost 1, a goal difference of plus 50, which is ludicrous, and 63 points, so we are bossing it. We got knocked out in the group stage of the Champions League. We're into the second knockout round against Schalke, as we mentioned in the Europa, Europa, Europa League. I'm struggling to say that today. We're into the semi-final of our cup, which we'll probably win. And we won the Super Cup. So overall, it's been pretty good. Um, Alex Cardos is in remarkable form at the minute. 19 goals in 19 appearances in the league, which is quite frankly ridiculous. Overall, 29 goals in a total of 30 games. He is on fire. A really good signing for 4.5 million. His value's going up. He's wanted by other clubs. Yeah, it's going to be tough to keep hold of him, but I might just keep hold of him, let him see out his contract and release him on a free. At least then he might give us some progression in Europe, but we'll see. Anyway, on to today's game versus Schalke. Catch you guys in a bit. At home to Schalke, this is how we line up. Dillamy warming goal, Gleasing at right back, DCC and Pavlin as the centre backs. Target is the left back. Takak sits at hold midfield. Halberg is the box to box. Lovric plays alongside him in centre midfield. Musa on the right, Sancho on the left, and Cardos up front. We've gone for the slightly more defensive formation, not the all out attack that we like to play in the league. And on the bench, we've got Mbamba, Bree, Ibrahim, Luis Carlos, Lella, Hleld, and Bosek, who. I'd like I'd like the fact that he's caught the eye of a number of you in the comments uh, in the transfers, and he does look like one hell of a hot prospect. I mean, we did pay a lot for him, 5.25, but we'll ease him in, and I think he's going to be absolutely superb. Schalke line up in a 4-2-3-1. I don't really recognise anyone apart from that. Andre Ayew? No, Ali Ayew, a German. Um, they look like a team of regens, to be honest. I don't reckon any of those names. They have gone a Concepcion. Wow, he's on the bench and he looks unbelievable. On loan from Man City. Wonderful stuff. Get underway. Maribor kickoff. And it's gone all the way back to Pavlin to start into Lovric. And I'm just hoping for a good game now. I'm just hoping that we, you know, we don't embarrass ourselves. Schalke are a bigger team than us. It is a tough draw for the second knockout leg. But we've just got to hope we can do it. We've, be we've beaten bigger teams. And we've probably arguably lost to smaller teams. So we've just got to see how we do. But we come forward with Cardos. Cuts around one. Does well, he's got a ball on square, he gives it to Lovric, he's into the air, he shoots, oh, he's rifled that in, 1-0 up. What a start for NK Maribor. Superb stuff, what a time to get his second goal of the season as well. Brilliant from Matea Lovric. And it's actually the first shot of the game, in the whole game, and it's gone in. Lovric, three minutes on the clock, took a touch, got it out of his feet, bang, past the goalkeeper. A great finish, unbelievable finish, well done. That man. And hopefully that will settle us down now. Butenko intercepted by DCC. Gleasing brings it forward. All good ball out to Pavlin. He made gave him an offer out to Sancho. Sancho cuts in field with it. He's got Cardos in front of him, but he goes on his own. Into Halberg, to Muset. The space on the right, but Muset ignores it. Into Lovric. Oh my word, he nearly had his second. It was a great save from the goalkeeper of Schalke. And yeah, we've got a corner. Sancho, ball in, headed away by Vogler. And that will probably be that. And also, I'd like to say, we'll just see this highlight go out, but it's Sancho, gets it back, easy catch for the keeper. Well done to Lovro Gaming for winning the book. It is now in the post. And I'm delighted that one of my Slovenian followers actually won. Because A, they might not have a great knowledge of um, British football, so 
the history of British football as a book would be good for someone in Slovenia. But a lot of my followers are Slovenians because of this save. So I think it's only fair that a Slovenian won it. By random, obviously. But I think it's only fair that a Slovenian guy won it. And well done to you, sir. The book is in the post on the way. As we come forward again, Halberg brings it forward, finds Muset. He loves a goal. Muset balling Cardos, and it's 2 0. What a start to this game. 12 minutes on the clock, and Alex Cardos has got his 30th goal of the season. Superb stuff. As Halberg put it into Muset, lovely little turn there, and he just played a lovely ball across. Cardos's movement got him in. Keeper should do better. Maybe I'd overrated Schalke. Maybe I had totally overrated Schalke. Who knows? Although now saying that, here they come, but Gleason makes a good tackle to Halberg. Back to Gleason. To Halberg again. Cardos. Out to Musa, he couldn't get round Abdallah, who's put a great ball out to Dominic, but DCC, even when he's pissed off, he still plays well. Cardos picks it up, looking for Sancho, couldn't get there, but he's got it back after a bit of a ricochet. Halberg, Gleasing, what can he do? He cuts inside, Gleasing into Musa, Cardos, and it's 3-0. What a game this is turning out to be. 18 minutes on the clock, and we are 3-0 up against Schalke, and I never expected this at all. Gleasing with a good run. I mean, that's weird football I don't know why you would pass the moose set there and then he would flick it on but it's happened and we're 3-0 up and I'm not going to argue about that as here comes Schalke though and the highlights are coming thick and fast and my voice is going as you can tell as Dominic into Mikhailov good block and Dylan Warm gets the clearance and Cardos will pick that up as well and Schalke are all over the place at the back Halberg back to Cardos the moose set Gleasing's on the overlap he doesn't use him and Muset, lovely boy in the corner. Halberg's in on goal now and he shoots and he's hit the post. And it could have been four after 22 minutes. And I don't think my voice is going to set last the whole game. Halberg shoots, it's gone just wide. Wow. We are battering them. Absolutely battering them. Sancho the ball in. Eup Yildiz gets it away. And it's a throw into NK Maribor. And... This has been an unbelievable performance. Absolutely unbelievable. Halberg picks up a yellow card for his troubles. and But he's won that header, so I'm not going to complain. Albergan, Silva into Botanenko. Abdallah. Cross in, and it's... I don't know why is Dylan Warm touched that. It looked like it was going wide. If they score from this, it will probably be a mistake from Dylan Warm, but it's headed clear. Halberg just to get that away, hopefully. Oh, he's taking his time. Composure on the ball from us today is superb. Cardos picks up the short throw. Halberg's on the edge. He's already hit the post once. Back to Takax. Intercepted. Pavlin's there. Sancho into Cardos. Looking for a hat-trick. Lovric shoots over the bar. But again, Schalke just cannot cannot handle us at the moment. Butenko. Cardos heads it away. Back to the corner table. Butenko. Ball in. It's gone wide. Gleasing again. Just leave it. As the time ticks down, we're into 37 minutes-ish now. Cardos into the area. Shoots. Good save from Setan Kozig in goal. They've got a lot of Turkish-ish sounding Turkish ish Turkish sounding names in their team as there's no more highlights to half time and we are absolutely bossing this game. This has been superb. Very happy. Keep it going. Don't let it drop off at all. We will go for again a cheek Loki Doki cheeky can't concentrate and keep it going. I just don't want them to drop off because we are absolutely battering them. Sancho's not having the best of games. We could bring Butaneko on for him. And as time goes down, I'm wondering if they've just... They've made all three subs. I'm wondering if they're just trying to close the game down. As we're going to make a sub, I think, now, Port. Sancho is going to be replaced by Bosek. And we'll see how he does in a big game like this. Remember, he is young, but we've still got to give him a chance. Sancho turns to Lovric. Lovric back to Sancho. What can he do? Looks and feels to Cardos. Cardos picks it up. Sancho, again, getting involved now. Cardos. Shot block. Dahoud brings it away. Into Santa Cruz. Tackled well by Target. He wasn't getting through there. Sancho. Cardos is on. He gives him the ball. He's tackled again, Cardos. Maybe he's getting a little bit complacent. As Butanenko brings it forward. And that highlight. If that's the highlight, what a waste of my voice. This is ridiculous. Dylan, with the highlight continues. Dylan, we warm up to Sancho. Doesn't win the header, but it's falls to Loverich. That is the end of the highlight. What a waste of my voice. <laughs> oh. Anyway, Schalke could take the goal kick. DCC. Beaten in the air. Silva out to Ayu to Butanenko. Conception. Silva. That's an awful shot. That is absolutely terrible. As we tick down into the last 10 minutes, into the last 7 minutes now, we've got some knackered players. Halberg's knackered. He's going to be replaced by Luis Carlos. And um, Takax isn't. No, Takax Enderam isn't on the bench, is he? Gleeson can have a little rest and be replaced by Bree. 
and we're not going to change the formation we'll keep it as it is and just get those fresh legs on hopefully we can see out the game and it kind of feels like it's going to be a short episode today I could do the second leg I will do the second leg I think are you heads it away there's the result what a performance 3-0 win at home and because that was so quick which is odd because it was on extended highlights uh, we'll just yeah we'll keep going we'll do the second leg right now so it'll be a cheeky little double episode or double live com for you which you know it's always a bonus isn't it very happy with that awesome awesome stuff I'll play Zavrich offline and then we'll be back to play Schalke so I'll see you guys there Welcome back everybody, again that will be an instant for you but it was a bit longer for me, but amazingly something that's never happened to me on Football Manager before, I have a son, I have a son in the game, here he is, Sam left foot, 15 year old winger, I've, obviously I've given him a contract so he's going to be on pro terms, he's terrible, he's absolutely terrible, here is my little lad, Sam left foot, wow, two and a half star potential, um, yeah, he's awful. Luckily, he's left-footed, left only, so he's going to have a cultured left foot. We'll be sure of that. But yeah, there he is, Sam Left Foot. Just to prove I haven't given anyone a nickname, information, full name, Sam Left Foot, cultured left foot, father. It's unbelievable. I've never had it before. Ever, 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 ever. Never had it. It is awesome. I mean, he's terrible. Good work rate, though. That's what we like to see. Good work rate, decent pace. It, when he's old enough, he's going to get at least one game for the first team. And if I become Slovenia manager, he, he'll get a cap. He'll definitely get a cap for Slovenia. Um, I, I can't, due to rules in Slovenian leagues, I can't play him until he's 18. So we've got at least three years. But he'll be around, don't you worry. He'll be in the B team when he's old enough as well. I've got a son. Can you believe it? Leave me a like. You've got to leave a like for getting a son in Football Manager. So leave a like for that. Um... So you've also got to put up with me having a massive grin on my face for the rest of the, the game or this episode. So yeah, let's crack into it. Schalke away. See you at kickoff. This is how we line up to play Schalke away. We're keeping the same formation. It worked really well. So Dillamy warms in goal. Bree, Karic, Pavlin and Target is the back four. Takax is in at holding midfield. Luis Carlos replaces the suspended Halberg at holding midfield. Uh, in the midfield, sorry. And Lovric is in midfield with him. Bosek on the right, Sancho on the left, and Cardos is up front. On the bench, we have Mbamba, Gleasing, Ibrahim, Musa, Hlela, Hleld, and Zan Selar. They line up in a 4 1 2 3, slightly different formation to last time, but yeah, let's get on with it. I've told the guys to go out there, don't be complacent, don't think the job's done, let's keep it going, we've got to keep this up. But straight away, they come forward. Oh, we beat Zavadec 2 0. We got a goal after 13 seconds, so straight from pretty much straight from kickoff. And then we got a goal in the second half, 35 seconds after the second half kicked off. So, yeah, we played pretty well in that game. We gave a few people some runouts as well that wouldn't normally get a run out. So it was good to get their fitness up as Berkeloko comes forward, conception, and they're 1 0 up. Not the start we needed. Not the start we needed at all. Uh, we haven't seen the replay because I just skipped it. Santa Cruz fires a free kick over and it's all Schalke at the moment. And I'm hoping that we can get through this. If we nick an away goal, I'll be very, very happy. Bosek. Bosek keeps his place in the team. Sancho. Lovrich. There we go. The Slovenian centre midfield gets us an away goal. 1-1 on the day. Third goal of the season for Lovrich. He's actually having a very, very good season for us. And we'll see this one in 3D because it's our goal. So there we go. Our first shot on target. Bosek put a ball in. It was partly headed clear, but Sancho picked it up. Little cut back. Lovrich is there. Unmarked. Great finish in off the post. But what I was saying just before that is Bosek um, got both assists in the last game. So he keeps his place because he's playing really well, the youngster, when I've given him a chance. So Santa Cruz is in, but he's offside. Fires over anyway. Doesn't matter. But yeah, Bosek's been playing so well on this right wing as an inside forward. He just deserved a chance in Europe. And as we were 3-0 up, I thought I'd do it. And here he is on the ball. What can he do? He keeps it. Sensible play back to Karic, to Pavlin. Pavlin into Lovric. Lovric to Carlos. Around the corner. Sancho's in. Oh, what a goal. Wonderful play. Lovely passing football. We are 2-1 up away. 5-1 up on aggregate. It looked like a little dink finish over the goalkeeper as well. Lovrich with the ball in. Cardos first time around the corner. Sancho takes it really well. Dink, there it is. A little chip over the keeper. Wonderful stuff. What a performance this is turning out to be in Europe. Absolutely superb. But we're back with Schalke. I up, I up, Yildiz is on the right. Looks like he's right back for him. Santa Cruz ball in, headed clear. Comes to Hampf. Dahoud 
Dahoud, Dahoud is on fire. If I sign someone called Dahoud, that, that's happening a lot. Sorry, everybody. Uh, Butanetko fires well wide. Not troubling Dillamy warm in the net. Really, it's... Okay, it started badly, but it's quite comfortable, isn't it? So we'll have a check around the other scores in just a sec. As the ball goes into Bosa, he runs into defence. Carlos, Carlos, good save. Standing in for Halberg today. But Chelsea are drawing 1-1 with Marseille. Leicester 0-0. Leverkusen a 1-up. Monaco and Olympic Lyonnais a 0-0. Uh, Chelsea 1-1 did that one. And Bayern are currently 1-up against Inter. But I have no idea how the first leg's finished. So that helps nobody at all. But yeah. What do you think in the comments about my son? Sam. I wouldn't call my son Sam. It just doesn't go with my surname. But it doesn't... Well, nothing really goes with the left foot either. It would be interesting if it was like Luke left foot. That's what would have been funny if he was called Luke. Yeah. But Sam left foot. A left footed left winger. He'll be trained to be an inside forward on the right probably. As Consumption shoots. Good save from Dillamy Warm. But I'm so happy that I've got a son. I've never ever had it in Football Manager before. I don't know if you can get multiple sons as well. I don't know if that's a thing. As Lovrich looks to break through, um, as Abdala takes him out, or takes the ball with a good tackle. But Butenko ball in, Santa Cruz heads it wide. And uh, yeah, they're playing a lot better in this leg, as you'd expect at home. But we still have the lead as we go into half time. And it's 2 1. So I'm going to tell them I'm very happy. Keep it going, the same as I did last time. I'll assertively tell them, you know, they can do better and I've got faith in them. Everyone seems to love that. So we'll keep it going. But yeah, I really hope you... Oh my God, Chelsea are 3-1 down to Olympic Marseille. Vivaleros, whoever he is, has got a hat-trick away from home. Surely that puts Chelsea out if it stays like that. But that would be good. I really don't want to play Chelsea. I'm fed up of playing them. Yaniki, ball forward, conception, out wide to Butanenko. He's got a lot of space to run into. Ball in, Pavlin, good header away. Falls to Dahoud. Dahoud's on the edge, shoots. Easy save for Dilemi Warm. And yeah, hopefully we'll just... Get control of the ball a little bit more. Sancho to Silva. Luis Carlos picks it up. Bosek. Bosek beats his man. What can he do now? Uh, his cross was blocked. And it's fallen to Butanenko who runs forward. He's got a lot of space to come into. And he's just run out of space. Even though he had loads of it to go into. He's literally run out of space. I'm just going to make some tactical changes. I want us to retain. We're going to retain the possession and keep it short of passing. We're 2-1 up away from home. Let's not, let's not mess around now. Target. Long ball forward to Cardos. It's a good ball out. Cardos, lovely ball through to Bosek. The youngster, he's in on goal. He shoots. It's a good save from Setin Kozeg in the Schalke goal. And, it's, yeah, um, should I be worried? They need to score four goals. Should I be worried? No, in fact, they need to score five goals because we've got two away goals. I, I don't think I should be worried, really. I've got this niggling feeling in the back of my head, though, that we're just going to give it away. Tonys into Butenko. Good tackle, but Silva's picked it up. Out to Gimba. Gimba, ball in, Tonys hits the post, and that's what I'm worried about, is there's always a chance. Ayu, back to Dahoud, Dahoud, puts it out wide, Dillamy Warm with an easy catch. I think I'm going to freshen up the midfield. Luis Carlos, it's on a 6.7 and 67, so we'll take him off. Ivan Tlel can come on, we'll switch those two over, and we'll go from there for now. Just just the one sub, Luis Carlos out to Busek, Busek tackled by Gimba. Conception, who's come out to this right-hand side now, runs forward. What can he do? We've got a bit of pressure on him. It's a terrible cross stuff shot. As Chelsea make it 3-2. We'll have a quick look around the ground. So it's 1-1, Bayern v Inter. Chelsea are now 3-2 down at home. Leicester are 1-up to West Ham. And Leverkusen are now 2-up. And AS Monaco have taken the lead against Olympic Lyonnais. If, wow. Ideally, I'd love Bayern and Chelsea to go out because they're the two biggest teams left in it. As Butenko to Silva, into Tonys, good tackle from Pavlin. Hamp picks it up into Dahoud, but that's the end of the highlight because I started commentating it. Football manager hates me. But we move forward. This could be a longer episode. This game's gone a bit longer, but we're into the last two minutes. Let's make some more subs, get some fresh legs on. So Takax is knackered, but I've got none to replace him. Muset can come on for Cardos up front, and Bree can be replaced by Gleasing in the reverse sub that we did in the last game. As here comes Schalke, Butenko brings it forward, ball into Tony's. Tony shoots well over the bar, nothing to worry about there. And this could be unbelievable. Bayern have taken the lead, which is annoying. Chelsea have brought it back to 3 all, which is annoying. And we've won 2 1. So, yeah, excellent stuff. This is, hopefully, could this be the, could this be the year? Let me know down below. I've told the guys I was happy with that. 
Um, and we've got the draw tomorrow. Right. Step close to glory. Thanks. Large performance from Alex Cardos and Matthew Target. Um, the fairy tale continues. Yep. Send the assistant for that one because I want us to crack in to the round. But here we go. So Bayern are through. Chelsea are through. West Ham go through. Oh, even though they lost 1 0. Leverkusen smash Zenit. Monaco smash Olympic Lyonnais. We smash Schalke. Leipzig, well, 1 5 1 against Stad de Nene. And Napoli just narrowly got past Vittor de Setabal. Ideally, we don't want Leverkusen, Chelsea or Bayern. Other than that, I'm not too fast. I think we could beat everyone else. So let's see who we get in the draw. This is the moment. We do not want Bayern. We do not want Chelsea. We do not want Leverkusen. I'm confident we could probably beat everybody else. So here we go. Automatic draw. First team out of the hat is going to be... Napoli. Yes, I'll take Napoli. We've got Napoli. Yes, we avoid the teams we want to eat. Hopefully, it'll be Chelsea v Bayern. It's not Bayern v Leipzig in an all-German tie. Monaco play West Ham. So Leverkusen or Chelsea are going out, which is good. One of the big teams goes out for the next round. I am happy with that draw. I'm happy that we've got Napoli. And I think we could win that. I honestly think that we could win that game. So what we're going to do, leave it there on that, that note there. We'll be back for the games against Napoli. It all depends on how quickly the first game goes to whether we do a two-game episode with these knockouts now. But thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, leave a like. Leave a like for my son, Sam Leftfoot, which is awesome. Have you ever had a son on Football Manager? And, oh, if you have, what was his name? What was he like? Was he any good? Sam Leftfoot, terrible. Definitely going to be a Maribor legend. He's going to be a one-man club. Possibly go out on loan if we get some offers. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'm out of here. Cheers.